All right, guys, let's check out another release from MMI Watches. This is the Turret Chronograph. This is currently snapshot in time as of today. This is still active on Kickstarter, and these guys can be had for around, and if you get in on the early bird, they're under 300 US dollars. So what do we get for that? Let's check it out. We are looking at a 40 millimeter watch here, a 47 lug to lug. The thickness with the double dome sapphire crystal is going to be 14 and a half. You can basically consider it more like a 12 and a half without the crystal. And then you have a 22 millimeter lug width. You have their standard H-link bracelet that I think I've seen on other models from their lineup, tapering down to 20 millimeter. You have a milled center portion of the clasp and kind of a stamped outer portion. Standard flip lock, double pushers, plenty of micro adjust, five of them there, which you're going to want those uh, H-link bracelets. You want more micro adjust, so they definitely included those. You have quick release spring bars for the bracelet to pop it off if you want to put a different strap on the watch. If you look at the screw down case back, I can actually zoom in. There is some details there you might be interested in, such as it is using the Seiko VK67 Mecha Quartz chronograph movement. And these are limited. This is number three of 238. So I'm going to try to break that down. It does also have a sapphire crystal, but as we're looking at the rest of the case, which is fully brushed, and you have a loomed crown that their signature uh, is really good loom, actually. They're using like a X1C3 or something like that. It's some crazy loom that one of the, you know, most of the micro brands are really uh, gearing towards, and they're definitely on that camp. But they're only making 250 of these total. The reason it says 238 is because in the Kickstarter campaign, there are only 238 available. This one, which is the Nimitz Gray, they're only making 28 of these. There's a few other colorways. I'll put a link to the Kickstarter campaign. You can definitely go check those out. And there's some stretch goals. But in total, on the Kickstarter launch, there's only going to be 238 of these made. And then there will be an additional 12 watches made that'll go to like authorized dealers that work directly with MMI. So that's how they come up with a total of 250. But you can see that really pop, bright pop of orange against that battleship gray, I guess we're going to call it because it's Nimitz gray. And then you have that inner chapter there with a the tachometer. And then the main thing that MMI is doing that is really cool is if you look at this outer part of the dial here you're going to see what they're calling the rota date display so you can see the orange indicator there at the three let's unscrew this screw down crown and let's rotate the hands forward and you go ahead and watch that orange and the three and you'll see that progress to the fourth so that is your date it is called the rota date display. I really like that MMI is doing that and I believe they're the first ones that I've shown on the channel in the microbrand world for sure that have done that sort of thing and definitely the first one I've seen on a chronograph. You do have the running seconds with the VK67 down there at six o'clock and then if we get the chronograph going you'll see the main chronograph hand will do its thing and then it'll keep count minute of minutes here at this dial and then it'll keep count of the uh, the larger increments of your timing there so there is a close look of it 120 click bezel so you do have your timing bezel which is loomed 120 click lines up nice action and if we pop this guy on the wrist you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist i did not size it for my wrist but a 40 by 47 is a sweet spot for a lot of people including myself and it has a nice weight to it i did not weigh it because i didn't size it but i'm guessing it would wear really comfortable so if we go ahead and pop this off wrist what kind of hardware do we have we have screw pins for the h-link bracelet so that is a nice feature. 
And as that chronograph is going, we can go ahead and stop that now and it'll snap back. That's the mechanical or the mecha part of that mecha quartz movement. I am gonna cheat a little bit. I don't think I need to, to show you this loom because the studio lights alone should charge this bright enough that you're gonna be able to see it. But I wanna get like the extra wow factor on this. The loom is always spectacular. Oh, I just noticed that they actually loomed the date, the inner date as well. Now you're probably not going to be able to tell, I mean roughly you're going to be able to tell like what time of month you are, but you're not going to be able to tell. But it's kind of cool, they loomed up everything. They loomed the tip of the chronograph hand, they loomed even the little hands on the registers, and then of course they loomed the crown as well. So if you're a loom junkie, microbrands and MMI are definitely ones to look for. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next bit.